If fans of The Biggest Loser were to compile a list of their all-time favorite contestants, my next guest would certainly be on the list. She was kind enough to let us come into her fabulous establishment here in Valparaiso, Indiana. Yo, amazing. She's going to chat with us right now. Courtney Crozier, how are you? I am fabulous. How are you? Terrific. Thank Good. you for letting us come in today. Thank with, you for being here. With DDP. He's a big fan He's of awesome. your frozen yogurt. I know. What did I see him getting over there? Was he it got the... the mango tango sorbet. It's our non-dairy sorbet. Okay. So. It's one of my favorites as well. Well, thank you very much. Um, it's, it's great to catch up with you and, and chat. For those uh, watching at home who remember you from The Biggest Loser, season 11 those who followed your progress bring everyone up to date on where you are now how's life the business you've got so much going on yeah life is awesome I'm a pretty busy girl um, I still work out six days a week um, I take usually about two spin classes a day which is pretty crazy wow. and in between those classes I'm I'm here at Yo amazing uh, just working hard to, to grow our business and make it the best that it can be um, I've lost a total of 232 pounds altogether, and I'm still going. Wow. I have about another 30 pounds that I want to lose, and I've been working really hard at it. And um, I just, I'm, I feel very blessed in every aspect of life. So. And you've been so motivational for other people. How do you stay motivated now that you're off the show and, and doing your own thing? You know, truly, all the other people that I've motivated are who motivate me. That's that's how um, how I stay accountable to um, the public and the people who are inspired by me. It, it really, truly is. Um, it's just like a cycle, you know, it's yeah. a cycle of inspiration and motivation and, and it really helps me so much and I'm, I'm so lucky to have my mom who was on the show with me and you know we work out together, my boyfriend who was on Extreme Makeover Weight Loss Edition, uh, he lost 216 pounds as well so wow. yeah so it's nice to have that accountability always with me and um, they're my workout buddies too so it's good. It's, it's a great story, it's, it's very inspiring and I noticed when we were coming in today, setting up our cameras, getting ready to do our, our taping here, um, you're very camera savvy. You understand <laughs> production because of having done The, the Biggest Loser. Um, you know, I, I have a background in reality TV. You know what it's like. For people watching at home, what would you say was the biggest surprise about your experience in terms of doing The Biggest Loser, the production process that people might not expect? Well, it's always hurry up and wait. That's part of it, and, and I love it. I mean, I think it's, I, I just think the whole aspect of production and, and TV, whether it's, whether it's reality TV or whatever it is, it's cool, you know, yeah. it really is cool, so. And of all the people who've been on The Biggest Loser and then have come back to their normal lives yeah. and gone on to do other things that, are, that they're passionate about, what you've done is one of the coolest things. You came here and you created something for your community, we're here in Northwest Indiana, that, that was lacking. And I'm referring, of course, to self-serve healthy frozen yogurt. Yep. And this, if you have not been to Yo Amazing in Valparaiso, Indiana, this is one of those things, if you're in the UK watching right now, book a flight immediately. <laughs> it's that good. Uh, where, where did your passion for frozen yogurt get sparked? Well, I have been around ice cream and that kind of stuff my whole life. My dad actually owns a Dairy Queen here in Valpo. Okay. And so I've been around that business aspect of it for a long time. But when we were in California taping The Biggest Loser, um, there is different yogurt shops there on pretty much every corner, okay. all different kinds. Um, but I didn't really want to go a franchise route because, I mean, you know, I, I, we dealt with that with Dairy Queen and all that. And I love Dairy Queen. I think it's great. But I just wanted a healthier aspect for some, you know, for people like me who sure. want a healthy, healthier choice here in Valpo. So I told my mom, I said, Mom, when we get home, when we get back from the ranch, we have to open one of these places. Like, let's, we have to do this. We have, you know, we have to make it the best one there is. And so, um, yeah, of course, you know, the self-serve place is, is very prominent in the U.S., but there's no other Yo Amazing except this one right now. And um, it really is our own. We try to make it the best that we can. We try to have the best flavors, the best toppings. We have a lot more healthy topping, healthier toppings than other places do. We try to have as much fresh fruit as we can and the sugar-free candy and that kind of stuff. So we really work very hard to make it as healthy and uh, as possible and as a happy environment too. And you've been open for about a year, less than a year? Less than a year. Less than a year. Yeah. And it is no exaggeration to say this. I'm not a paid spokesperson for Yo Amazing. I'm just a fan. I mean, there have been days, especially during the summer, where I would come here with my family and my little girl, almost three years old, loves it here. I mean, there are lines. People come in here and they, they are you surprised by the popularity? You know, I, I, I kind of am. We, we never expected to have a year like this. Um, you know, we, we really didn't know what to expect, yeah. to be honest, because there was nothing like this in Valpo or anywhere in Northwest Indiana. So um, to have the success that we've had so far and for people to be embracing the healthier options, um, it just makes me so happy because it really, 
just to know that I have a small part in making the world a better place and a healthier place and people can still be happy and not have to feel deprived, I think that's awesome and, I, and I'm very proud of that. It is and I think, I mean, I could see this sort of becoming a big network of franchises. I hope so. That's what we're that's Is that what a goal? For. Is that what you what you what you hope will happen over yeah, time? Yeah, we definitely I want to open a couple more throughout Northwest Indiana, hopefully to start with and okay. if we can franchise it throughout the country, let's do it, you I, know, but I can see that happening. <laughs> Thank and when you. When you have a great product, that's that's sort of the, the foundation Absolutely. of Absolutely. That's what it's all about, you know, and, and our and our employees here and um, and hopefully at stores to come are always going to be happy and helpful. Um, and that makes a huge difference too. A positive attitude can, can really make a huge difference. So. so professionally, you've got that going. Personally, where do you see yourself in the next five to 10 years? Well, I have about a year left um, to get my business degree. I don't even have my degree yet, but I'm, wow. but I'm getting it right now from okay. IU. And you could be teaching it right now. <laughs> you. you don't have the degree yet. What? <laughs> I know, but it's, it's close. So that's, okay. that's my main goal right now is to get my degree, finish that out. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm going to be in five years. I couldn't tell you, you know, if I'm going to be in Illinois, Georgia, Indiana. I yeah. don't know, but I do want to have a couple more Yo Amazings. Right. Um, and, you know, who knows? I, I don't know. I, I've just learned to embrace life for, what, you know, what comes at me. Um, and I, I'm just really happy with where I am now. And so I'm just going to keep fighting for more every day. Good for you. Well, Courtney, I can't thank you enough for letting us come in. Uh, the website, YoAmazing.com, yes. if people want to learn more about it. And you've got some amazing flavors over there. Have you ever thought about just kind of like screwing with people and putting a really random, odd flavor in there for the day? <laughs> you know what's funny? We actually have a flavor right now, maple bacon donut, and people freak out about it because it's got bacon and yogurt, right? It's actually pretty good. Tastes like a pancake. I'm gonna Threw people I'm gonna, off I'm gonna, first, Okay, I got to go try that right try now. It. Okay. <laughs> Court, let's hear it for Courtney Crozier, everybody. Thank you so much, Courtney. We'll be back right after this. Stay with us.